Hello, welcome to Skill Belt Tutorials. This is Arun here with LifeRay 6.2 Development Tutorials, session number 13. In this session, I'm going to show you how to use service builders to communicate with database and tables of LifeRay. And you can create tables, you can create services out of the tables, and you can create remote services and local services for LifeRay using the service builder tool. So uh, in this uh, session, I'm going to uh, save uh, the data which we are already passing from our form to the process action. I'm going to save that data to a database table. So here I'm actually having the name passed from the form. So what I'm expecting to do is I want to save this um, name to a database table. So here, what I'm going to do is, I let me just open up my MySQL. I'll just show you my MySQL database. Here I have the uh, Neonix uh, table, Neonix database, which I'm using for my LifeRay portal. So let me just uh, show you where I have the exact configurations for this. So here's what I'm using. I'm actually, uh, okay, I'm actually not uh, configured to use the Neonix database, but I'm using Agile as the database name. So this is not my database. I'm using this Agile database uh, for my life portal, which is currently running. So what I'm expected to do in normal web application development, what we are going to do is we will create the tables uh, in this MySQL database server. But in using LifeRay Service Builder, what we are going to do is we will create the service XML to generate the table query and it will create the uh, tables while we deploying the portlet or the service builder portlet to the server. So let me just show you how to create a service builder right away. You click on this link and you can see new LifeRay service builder and you need to choose one portlet which is already so service builder can only be part of any portlet so now i have only one portlet available here i choose my wow life portlet and the service file service.xml will be generated and i need to give a package name where my services has to be generated that service builder will create you all the required java class files which is actually you, you uh, if you know the object or relational mapping like hibernate so that hibernate uh, and the spring framework is mingled and used together to generate the service layer of your service builder so uh, we have the service layer generated with a couple of classes and pojo objects will be available and all those things need to be under a particular package so you can give the package name here so i am just giving the package name com dot neonix neonix dot uh, wow services okay wow services this is what i'm going to give the package name and i need to give a namespace for this particular um, uh, service builder that that particular uh, namespace is going to be uh, sub shown at the uh, tables when we create the tables that namespace will be appended with that and that that is actually not actually appended it is prefixed with that um, uh, label and that namespace label will be allowing us to differentiate our table from the default tables of other applications so that is one advantage using namespace here i am going to give the namespace as wow 
okay so this wow is i'm going to give as the namespace and the author i'm not bothered about uh, author and include a sample entity new file that that will give you a briefing of the how the file should be uh, presented and how the file you need to write that um, that you will get from this sample entity in new file so i'm just clicking finish what i'll get is i'll get created with a service.xml file that is going to be inside your web inf folder so here's what your service.xml file and if you zoom a little bit uh, you can see one moment you can see uh, there is a uh, table uh, foo there is an a not actually table an entity foo is created and uh, there is uh, some default um, data uh, the default columns like foo id group id company id all those things has been generated and there is another option diagram you click on the diagram you will see uh, this tables um, diagram if you have any relationships like uh, one to one relationship with any other tables that will show in this diagram and you can click on the overview you will um, you will get you will get uh, the screen and uh, you, you can see the tables and you can columns uh, in a graphics window so i'm not going to use this foo table uh, anyway i'm just going to delete and i think i have to have one particular um, field uh, that is the name i need to store so what i'm going to create over here is i'm just going to create a name storage table so names i'm just going to create the entity name as names and i'm going to create the local service i'm not going to create the remote service and i don't want to use a caching enabled and uh, i let the json enabled uh, as a default one and just expand this you will see the columns and you can add the default columns you will see the default columns as names id group id company id user id and username created date and modified date um, into your uh, service builder so um, these things are uh, default on uh, stuffs which you can add with a life portal we will learn these things later in detail for this time i don't want any of these tables but i want to have the primary key kept in the xml file and i'm going to add one more name over here i'm just going to add uh, sorry not one more name one more column called name i'm going to add here and i'm going to add this to uh, a string column this value i'm expecting to save as a string so that's it uh, if you look at the source file now you can see the entity is names and there is a column names id which is a primary key and there is one more field i added as name and which is a string value and going back to the overview mode and now let me just show you there is only one package available with com.neonics.wow library is the only one package available over here so now i will build the services once i build the services what i'm going to get is i will get uh, some classes and interfaces which is related to the service which will help me to communicate to the database will be generated within this packages so here you can see an icon uh, to build the services you click on this build services it is going to build the um, service classes it is going to generate the classes for you it will take um, some time to get things done okay now the service builder has generated some classes you can see this many classes has been created and the uh, package if you ex pan the package you can see now you got the com.neonics.wowservices.model.impl 
package has been generated and base package implementation package then again a persistence package and one more service package you can see here this service is also uh, package but it came under the web inf uh, folder so you can you can add it back to if you want to uh, see it here you can add that with eclipse source uh, you, that is how you need to do uh, let me just show you how you can do that go to the build path configure build path and source you add a folder the service folder you can add just click it you will see the web inf services also service packages also came over here so there's a lot of classes and interfaces generated for you now now uh, now one more uh, thing I want to show you is inside web inf you will see there is a SQL folder got generated and it has a tables.sql and this table contains your create table query and you can see create table wow names which is your table name and names id and it's a long value uh, it's a long value that's a primary key and your name with uh, 75 characters which is a default uh, settings of life service builder that will generate it for you and you will also get a sequence sql there is no data in sequence sql and there is no indexes sql um, and there is no indexes properties there is no data in that so now what you are going to uh, now what you are going to see is once you deploy this the service builder will okay service builder will generate the table into your mysql database now the um, building uh, building is completed and now it's actually deploying the portlet deploying the service builder portlet okay the portlet is available for use so obviously the table should have been generated by this time uh, and before that i forgot to tell you once you build that you uh, build that um, build services you will get um, the wow life portal service jar there is a jar file will be generated this library file this library jar file you can use in other portlets to access the services which is created from this particular uh, service builder okay now let me show you once after deployed you can refresh your database and uh, I'm checking with the agile database you scroll down to the W Wow okay Wow my Wow names got created that Wow names table is created and that uh, that have the two columns names ID and name these things has been created while de by deploying the port the portlet okay so that that's it for the uh, service builder now i need to show you how you can access this um, service builder how you can make use of the service builder to communicate to the database that is saving some data to the database and fetching the data from the database that that you will um, see in the next tutorial and that's it for now thanks for watching the skill bell tutorials keep watching and supporting us